Hey, Hoodoo family. I want to share two Hoodoo works that you can do with sage and lemons. And this will help you during hard times. It helps to uh, keep the spell work off of you. It removes bad luck. In fact, it even turns your luck around from bad to good luck. And it helps to keep your path clear, much like a road opener. And sometimes uh, when you are stressed out and you're worrying, this is really good to use to help remove some of that negativity that comes along with stress and worry. Now, you can buy whole lemons and sage at your uh, local grocery store or farmer's market. You can also grow your own sage and lemon. In my balcony garden, I have garden sage and lemon balm plants. And I also have a lemon tree, but of course it's not producing yet. But I got all of these at my local hardware store. Now, I use this mixture in burning herb rituals when I'm manifesting, and you can do this too. All you need is dried lemon slices or lemon peel, if that's all that you have, along with white sage. You're uh, going to burn it outside and ask the spirit of sage and lemon to protect you, to cleanse you, and bless you financially and spiritually. I use this burning herb ritual a lot in uh, my rituals with my ancestors when I'm petitioning them for certain things or just seeking their protection. Now I did, since my lemon tree is not producing, I got a bag of lemons at my grocery store and I sliced them and partially dried them in the oven at 200 degrees for about three hours. So I'll let them sit out and air dry until they uh, can completely dry. And this might take about a week. So I won't be doing any burning rituals uh, this weekend. Now I use the end pieces and the cut and a few of the cut up slices of the lemon for my cleansing water. And that amounted to about two lemons. I added about two and a half cups of white sage and a few leaves of my garden sage. I placed these in a gallon sized jar and filled with hot water. And then I put the lid on it immediately to help capture those essence. Now I'm on day two of this sitting out on my counter. As you see tomorrow morning, I will use it in my spiritual bath. I'll be using a foot tub. And while I'm standing in it, I'm going to rinse the water over my body washing in a downward stroke, allowing the water to run back down into the foot tub. I will not be using any soap or anything like that, just this cleansing water. And I might add a, a little bit of uh, additional hot water to the foot tub as I need it. Now I'm going to do this bath before sunrise. And while the sun is rising, I'm going to take my foot tub full of the used water and I'll cast it off of my balcony towards the east while the sun is rising. I will be asking the sun and the east wind to cleanse, protect, open my path for blessings and to turn my luck around should it become bad. So this is something that you can do at home. It's proactive. You don't wait until bad luck falls on you. You try to get ahead of it and mitigate it as much as possible. And that's where hoodoo comes in. Now you don't have to use a foot tub. If you have a bathtub, you can just run a little water in your tub and then pour your cleansing water into that. Just be sure to scoop some of the bath water to cast towards the rising sun for your ritual. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If so, please consider subscribing to this channel and joining us on this hoodoo journey. So until the next video, may you have a positive and manifesting hoodoo journey.